Hello, and welcome to The Daily Neats, a daily look at classic films, modern cinema, and the world of professional wrestling. Today, I am talking about the new Netflix original film, Special Correspondence, starring Eric Bana and Ricky Gervais. Um, I watched this movie because I got an email uh, in the morning from Netflix saying, Hey, we just uploaded this. You might like it. And then I saw a billboard for it, and then I turned on my computer and Netflix, and it was like, hey, watch this movie. And I'm like, fine, I'll watch your, your stupid movie. And it was a stupid movie, I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. Um, I like the premise, I like the idea of radio hosts uh, pretending to be abroad to uh, report on a war that they are not present for. I like that idea, I like that premise. But I think they could have executed it a little bit better. And I don't want to just say, like, oh, I didn't like it. I have an, I have an idea that could have made the film a little bit better. And that would be um, about an hour into the movie, um, the two characters, uh, and their names are escaping me. It was not a very memorable movie. Uh, Bonneville and Finch, I think, are their names. Um, they realize that they've been kidnapped by Ecuadorians for over a month, and they need to somehow get to Ecuador to get away with everything. So, like an hour into the movie, they all through a montage, they road trip from New York to the West Coast, and then take a boat down to Ecuador and arrive in Ecuador. I think it would have been really interesting if the whole movie was them trying to get to Ecuador while reporting from Ecuador. I think it could have been... Because you could still have some of the same scenes, like the one where he's giving a report while in New York City. Do that in, like, Chicago or something. You could still get away with it there. Um, the bit when he when he mentions sand and then Finch is like, there's no sand in Ecuador. They could have been in Texas during that one, or in the in Arizona, or somewhere in the desert. Like, there are, there are ways you could do it. You could turn the whole film into this road trip movie that I kind of wanted to see when they brought it up. And, and not have it... And, and it would... It, be a little bit different. Um, it would change the plot a little bit, but I think it would make it a little bit more interesting combining the road trip with the, with the lie and not have the road trip happen kind of during a montage and the lie be kind of like half baked. Um, but yeah, it was a little weird. Um, I'm also not the biggest fan of Ricky Gervais. I want to like him. Um, I thought he was great in the British office because he was so hateable and he just owned that role so well, but, and I like him when he just shows up as a bit part, I think he was in Stardust for like half a minute and he was great, but when he has a leading role and when he writes his own movie, everything's either like really heavy handed or he tries to play a character that he's not as good at playing and it, and it doesn't work as well. Um, like he had his moments of, of charm, but it, he... It, it was just weird, like, he's this charming, like, quiet character, and then by the end, he's snorting coke and shooting bandits, and it's just a bit too much, I guess, of a, like, a, of a change with without enough build to it. It's, it was weird. It was weird. It had, it had some work to do. There were, there were glimmers of hope. Eric Bana was fine. He was, the opening scene, he's super charming, um... And it was like, I was actually really intrigued from the opening scene when, the, when they go in and he talks his way basically onto a crime scene to find out what happened, walks off the crime scene after hearing three pieces of information, and then he crafts this, like, glorious story out of it. I thought that was great. It was awesome, like, oh, this is the character. I know this character. But he wasn't the main character. It was, it was uh, Gervais' character, and he didn't get that same kind of moment of, I know this character, exactly what he's like, and I want to follow this character. It was just, it was a little... It was just, yeah, it was meh. I mean, I'll, I'll put it on the same level as, like, Fuller House. Like, if you've got an hour where you're cleaning the house or something, and you just want something on in the background, throw it on. It's not terrible. It's just, it's weak. Um, Netflix needs to stick to just making TV shows. Uh, they're good at that. Daredevil's great. Uh, Jessica Jones is great. I've heard really good things about House of Cards. Um, their movies, I haven't heard the same. Um, special Correspondence kind of falls under that. Not too great. Uh, that's all I gotta say about that. Tomorrow I'm gonna look at a, a musical film for, I think, the first time. I'm gonna look at the last five years. Um, but until tomorrow, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me a Netflix movie that is good, and I'll probably watch it. 
Um, also follow me on Twitter at Daily Neats. Uh, let you know whenever I post new videos and other shenanigans. But until tomorrow, bye.